Hey everybody, welcome to another painting. We're going to do another on plane air painting here in the same spot where I did my first ever on plane air painting. Only we're gonna be painting a different area. So I had my eye on this particular view last time I was here and I'm back probably about four weeks or so later. I'm gonna go ahead and set up here. So let's jump into it. All right guys, this is the view that I'm looking at for today's painting. I really like the depth where you have the foreground, this path kind of meandering off uh, those distant hills, and then you have these trees on the side of the bluff here going up. You can see I have my uh, on plein air set up right here. So those are the main things that I like about this painting. And uh, we're going to go ahead and take this and render it into uh, a sketch on our panel. First up on the palette today, we have titanium white. We got sky blue, burnt sienna, burnt umber, Payne's gray, brilliant red, yellow ochre, lemon yellow. And finally, I have some of this permanent green. And then a little vial of linseed oil. All right, let's let's get our composition together. As always, I'm taking a little bit of linseed and mixing it with some burnt umber to do the sketch. All right, I think I'm just gonna plot in my horizon line first. And I think that's actually gonna be probably like this, pretty low. We'll just uh, put it there for now. Next, I want to put in those bluffs and they are going to come up probably like this. And I actually like the idea of having them kind of come down, slope up and then kind of slowly work their way downwards. And then we have Oh, we got a field back there. Okay, we have our road, which, let's see. Something like that. All right, now we got our trees. I might want to actually move this over a little bit. I want to make room for those trees on the right. I want to be careful for that. I might even move it over a little bit more than that. But I'll put in the trees first. Alright, so our road comes in like that. We got our slope comes in like that, basically. Right? Okay. Um, and then we have our first big tree, which has branches that come up like this off of a few main trunks. And then we have our, I don't know if there's going to be a room for it actually. I got so much of the background coming in. I don't know if I'm going to have room for that oak tree that I wanted to put in there. Maybe the panel is too small. I'm working with a little bit of a larger panel today than the last painting I did, but it doesn't have as much room this way. You know what I mean? It's a little bit too square for that to work out in the composition, I think. So I might have to leave out that oak that I wanted to put in. I've had a good look at the sketch here and the subject matter in front of me. And I think if I want to feature that oak tree, I'm going to have to just picture moving everything over a little bit. Start with the road.
Okay, now I think I've got room for that oak tree right here. Okay. All right, guys, first up, I'm gonna start with what's furthest away, which is the sky, and then work my way forward. And I wanna mix up titanium white and sky blue together, of course, for the sky, but I don't mind adding a little bit of burnt umber to it as well. And the sky is very hazy today. There isn't too many clouds that I see. So the sky is gonna be pretty simple, which is fine because the sky really isn't going to be that much of a feature in the painting anyway. And I want the sky to get lighter as I get towards the horizon. So I'm just gonna add some more titanium white to it down here. Just like that. Okay, now I'm ready for the bluffs. I'll try this color out here. That's pretty good. I like that. The bluffs are going to be fun because there is some shadowed areas in them. One of those areas is right here. All right. These are going to be some shadowed areas too. Okay, a little bit more titanium white, and we'll finish off these bluffs. And now, these trees here are a little bit closer, so I'm going to add a little bit more yellow to them. And I'm just going to really quick add some more yellow ochre and titanium white to that mixture and come in here and add in that field. And then there's another field, a little bit more yellow right there. And also down here. Okay, that's not bad. We can start moving forward now to this tree here and working our way into the foreground. And the tree right now is looking like burnt umber to me. Remember, right off the bat, we don't need to worry about detail. We're just wanting to get in our main shapes and values first. Okay? So now we're going to move to the uh, foreground hill here, which is a much brighter green. And I'm just going to put the road in now, which is going to be kind of a gray color. Okay. It needs to be whiter than that, so I'll add some more titanium white to it. Okay, I 
can work with that. Then we'll get in some of those shadows from the tree quick. Okay, I forgot the, uh, the leaves up in here, so I'll just go ahead and put those in. Actually, before I do that, I think I want to add a little bit more sky in there. Looks like the outer limbs are brighter and the inner limbs are darker. Just want to keep it really simple at this stage in the painting. Now we're going to add in some of those more shaded leaves right about here, here, there, like that, okay. Add some more of those brighter leaves actually right in there. Okay, now let's address the oak tree. I want to make that very dark. As you can see up here, it's pretty shadowed and pretty dark. So Payne's gray and burnt umber, I think, for this one. And then burnt sienna, I think, for that side. Okay, I think I need a little bit more foliage off on this side here, actually. So I'm just going to add some more green back in here. Okay, so that's the general idea. Now I'm going to work my way forward again and just refine a little bit more. So I'm gonna add some more cloud suggestions up in here. Okay, I'm gonna work on those bluffs a little bit more now. And I see that there is a lot of shadows of individual trees in those bluffs. So I'm gonna to try to suggest those by making a little bit of a more shadowed bluff color. And we'll go ahead and add those in. A little bit darker, I think. Even a little bit darker. That's better. This area is quite a bit more shaded as well. Okay, good for now. I'm going to get some of this darker color here and add in some deeper shadows back in here. Oh boy, I want it to be even darker than that. So I'm going to have to get some more Payne's Gray in just a minute, I think. The Payne's Gray really acts like a dark blue. Just kind of desaturated, so it's not like super blue, but it's just a dark blue color that you can really mix yellow into to get a nice kind of desaturated green which I like. And now we're going to take some of this darker color here and put it in to these trees up here. I want to work on that field a little bit so I'm going to take a smaller brush and grab a little bit more of a yellowy green, just a little bit more yellow in that green. Some titanium white and I'm going to touch it up just a little bit here. Okay, I 
kind of like that. And I'm noticing there are some spots where the corn is shadowing that area. Kind of like that. make some grass marks here at the end of my brush scraping on on the paint here just to help me picture it a little bit better okay we're gonna have some dark shadows Okay, what we've done there is just kind of created shadow and sunlight getting through. Now I want to add a little bit more highlight, I think, to this tree here. It's actually getting quite a bit of highlight, I see. So I'm gonna really brighten this up with lemon yellow and titanium white. going to add in some bushes down here. I'm going to touch up the trunks here now. do I see now? Uh, I see this needs to be a little bit brighter. Right here. Oh, and there is some shadows underneath that bush right there. And I'm actually seeing a little bit of gray on this side of the oak tree. A dark gray. Very similar to the road actually, so I'm just gonna add that in here. but it's still quite a bit darker. So I'm going to apply a little bit more dark values. Gonna add a bowl onto the tree there to give it more of an aged look, I think. All right, that's not bad. Okay, I think I want to add a little bit more of a yellowy highlight green up to these trees here. Not too bright, just something to uh, bring them forward just a little bit. Alright, maybe even a few tree trunks down in here. Now I need a highlight color for the road. Cracked road. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of a light blue green 
It's a lot like this bluff color up here, only it's a little bit lighter and a little bit cooler. I'm just going to touch the tops with it. Now I want to get a nice green highlight color for these trees up here. Okay, that's not bad. I also want to add a bit of finer detail up in this tree in the form of branches, knots in the tree, etc. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, if you look over here, you'll notice that there is a fence following the road. I want to put that in as well. Let's get uh, some burnt umber here. I'm going to clean off my brush a little bit. Some burnt umber, maybe a little bit of Payne's Gray. I think that should be good. And we'll come in here and add in a post. There's another post. Another post. And another post back here. And put another one right there. Right there. Okay. We can even take a little bit of titanium white and on some of these closer ones. Maybe a little bit of lemon yellow. We can add. Ever so slightly. Bit of highlight on the left side. Bit more highlight right out here. Okay guys, as much as I don't want to do this. I really am having some qualms with this closest oak tree here. And I know that we shifted the composition a little bit at the beginning so that we could add it in, but I actually just think it needs to go. So uh, the painting could be finished at this stage, but I think I'm gonna take it out. Take our shop towel. Oh boy, here we go. And we're just gonna wipe this back. Wow. Now let's uh, bring this bluff over first. Okay, now we'll get the sky in there. And bring this all back over. Now we gotta spread this tree out a little bit more, so I'm gonna add in some shadowed foliage. Shade this tree even a little bit more. Okay, this is, this is proof that you can change your composition quite a bit from what you have in front of you. I'm going to take away a lot of these shrubs here. This is proof that you don't have to paint exactly what is in front of you.
I'm going to make this more of a grassy hill instead of adding all that shrubbery. Take the tip of my brush and get some better grass. Okay, I like that a lot better. Okay, I think that is done. guys that is going to sum it up for another video thank you so much for watching if you like the video drop me a thumbs up and also consider subscribing you can hit the bell icon if you want to be notified every time I put out a new video but yeah this one was a, a lot of fun it was a little bit more impressionistic uh, but overall I thought it was great practice because I was able to spend a lot of time looking at the scene and practice getting down a good composition, which is very important. So we'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, God bless y'all. We'll see you later.